Welcome back. This is a quick unboxing of the Nano Pi version 2 Fire from Fun the Arm. It's a development board and you can do a lot of stuff with it, such as development projects, software development, also for robotics, also good, and also for Linux and Android uh, if you want to run uh, operating systems on it. And it's based on Samsung solution, it's a quad core processor based on Samsung S5P4418. Again, a quad core processor, it's enough for running Linux and Android. Uh, frequency range of the processor is between 400 MHz up to 1.4 GHz. It, it has a power management unit, it supports power on off, uh, sleeping mode, and also. It has 1 GB of RAM and also it has an Ethernet uh, LAN port based on Realtek Real chipset also but it doesn't have any Wi-Fi support so for this uh, special uh, function you need to buy a nano adapter with Wi-Fi support very standard also not included in the default package so just an option if you need the Wi-Fi feature because it doesn't have a chip on the board uh, other stuff it has a one USB host port also micro USB for data transmission and power input micro SD card slot also LCD interface HDMI version 1.4a 1080p resolution uh, camera interface GPIO 40 pin header so you can uh, use it with uh, Raspberry Pi version 2 compatible hardware also uh, it has a debug serial port and power uh, key and reset key also very small in size and again it runs Android 5.1 operating system Debian Linux and few others so this is the, the case that comes an option, sorry, it's an option if you want to buy it not included also in the default package but it's very nice, it's a 3D printed casing case so that's an option you have also the screws here included so that's kind of a sleeve case mounting option So you have also for uh, mounting holes here, so you can uh, basically connect it to any surface with screws like wood or plastic. So you can mount the unit anywhere on the wall. So pretty smart. Lots of venting here. Yeah, so it's not included, but good enough, a good option if you need the case. And of course, this is the package of the board looks really good here you have the nano Pi 2 fire label here again very very small board you can see the size if not I'll show you compared to a pen the size the dimensions very very small so basically, if you open the case, you assemble you assemble it right, like this one, and you just mount it with the screws here if you need it. So very nice, it's kind of a sleeve. Here you have a space for the cooler, for the venting also pretty nice idea so that's the case back to the development board here you have the GPIO interface Samsung chip and this is the memory 1 GB RAM in total OTG interface here here on the back you have the LAN and also the HDMI interface on the back you have a micro SD card uh, socket here very cool board I think that's the LCD interface I'm not sure or, or this is the camera interface also 
so very small and compact board thanks for watching in the second part of the video I'll show you how it works a quick demo so stay with me thanks for watching and bye welcome back to my second part of the video where I'm showing you Ubuntu performance under the NanoPi 2 uh, Fire from Friendly Arm it's a nice development board very small based on the quad core processor from Samsung it has 1 GB RAM and right now I'm using it for Ubuntu let's boot the system and I'll show you the general performance so let's boot it Just a quick restart. Default resolution it's uh, right now it's 720p. So it's loading. This board only has a wire connection built-in LAN. If you need Wi-Fi you need to buy a wireless dongle and comprise the drivers inside Linux. So password is FA for friendly arm for login. So system loads pretty fast, very reasonable. Okay, I'm logged in, and of course you can see all the pre-installed applications you have here, LibreOffice, uh, Firefox also, let's tr uh, try uh, LibreOffice, first run should uh, take a few minutes, and we'll try again, okay really fast so system loads really really, really fast I'm not using any heatsink on the processor like I said so performance should be okay but not amazing so office works fine and you have Firefox again also works okay Right now I'm connected with my uh, LAN with a Y connection. Okay, so you have internet. Let's try other stuff. Control center also loads fast. You can install applications here, so you can see performance is pretty good. You have Ubuntu software center, so you can update the packages. You can see also loads fine. So that's it. Network settings you have here. I left I left everything automatically and it recognized my LAN connection. Normally it's set on DHCP but I didn't touch a thing so that's Ubuntu 
pretty nice, works well. I hope you enjoy my quick uh, demo of Ubuntu. And thanks for watching, and of course you're welcome to like my YouTube channel and join. Thank you, and bye.